Hey, how's it going? So today I'm coming to you with day number 19 inside of, a, inside of a 30 day video challenge. If you happen to be catching me live, do me a favor and hit pound live. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And if you happen to be catching me via the replay, do me a favor and hit pound replay. Let me know where you are tuning in from. So the thing that I want to talk about today is I want to talk about marketing your coaching program. Um, for some of us who are coaches and or consultants, marketing our program doesn't all doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have all of these you know credentials it doesn't mean that you have to have all of these degrees and you don't have to have any of this stuff and you can still be able to draw in and bring in bring in clients i remember maybe about i don't know this had to probably be maybe like 12 years ago i had a friend who was working for the city in which i reside and then working and then that friend you know had a degree and that friend was working for this department and because that friend knew me pretty well that friend knew of my skill set and, and, and of some of the things that I um, was doing that friend was like you know what you would make a good person for this position so what that friend ended up doing is that friend ended up putting in a word for me with the departmental manager and I was very excited I was looking forward to being able to work for the city to being able to work for the county and essentially I was turned down for the position. I was able to get an interview, but I was turned down for the position because I didn't have a degree at that time. So because I didn't have a degree, you know, I got denied. I was pretty, I was not a happy camper. Let's just put it that way because I was like, you know what? I feel as though I can really do this job, but for whatever reason, I didn't meet the qualifications of that position. Fast forward many years later, um, you know, I ended up, I was playing basketball with a group of individuals and I was doing that for just recreational reasons and I'm just playing basketball you know with the same group of individuals that's just coming around playing basketball playing basketball and one day one of the guys that I was playing basketball with ended up tell saying to me that you know hey I like the way that you carry yourself on the basketball on the basketball court I like your demeanor I like the way that you respond when you win I like the way that you respond when you lose and I don't know what it is that you do from a career and from a professional standpoint, but I run a financial aid office for this university. I would like to invite you in for an interview and see if you would like to be, um, you know, to be part of the financial aid team. I feel as though you will be a good fit. So then, you know, this individual invited me. I went through the interview process and I almost didn't get that job for the for the exact same reason and that reason was I didn't have a degree at the time even though from a capability standpoint I was very capable of doing the job I almost didn't get the job but because this individual had connected with me on the basketball court this person knew who I was and this person felt comfortable with me he was able to put in a word and he was able to get me you know get me hired based on some of the things that he had observed and some of the things that he had seen from me on the basketball court so fast forward, here I am, I got this position, which, you know, I guess on paper, I wasn't qualified for it because I didn't have a degree. So, you know, fast forward to, you know, many, many years later, I worked my way up to a director level position, um, you know, within that industry without a degree. And I remember just going to bat for other individuals who um, who didn't necessarily have a degree, but I saw things in those people. So I remember many many different times me going to um, you know my my executive and saying, "Hey, executive, I just had the opportunity to interview um, an individual. This person doesn't on paper meet all of the requirements, but there's there are a couple of things about this person." that would make this person a great fit. Yes, this person doesn't have a degree, but I feel as though they'll be a good fit for the department and or for the role. Thankfully, right for me, I was right <laughs> the majority of those times, right? I was right in that um, during the interview process, I saw some things in those individuals that allowed me to make that decision. And in some cases, my executive, right, the person who I was reporting to, had enough trust in me to say, you know what? Okay, we're going to overlook this process based on that so now the, the the question is okay what did I see in those individuals well, what were some of the things that I was looking for that said to me okay this person meets that role right this person meets the um, meets what it is the requirements that I am looking for because at the end of the day I was the one that's going to be managing these these individuals I was going to be the one that was going to be responsible 
for that person's overall performance. So what were some of those things um, you know, that I saw? Some of the things that I saw is I saw that the individual had the experience, right? The hands-on experience that would allow them to be successful. I connected with that person's experience. I connected with some of the things that that person had, had gone through. I connected with some of the circumstances that that person had gone through. The same thing is true for you as a coach and or as a consultant. When it's time for clients, prospective clients to do business with you from a marketing standpoint, some of the things that they're connecting with is they're connecting with your experience. They're connecting with some of the things that you have gone through and based on those things that you've gone through, it connects with them because they could be going through those exact same things. So that experience is what it is that they're connecting with. It doesn't matter if you have a degree or not in this case, right? Especially as a coach and or a consultant. The main question is, okay, what is your experience? So sometimes when I talk about the fact that I was able to use my knowledge and or my expertise and turn that into an online you know, coaching program, and I'm talking about, you know, that experience and I'm talking about, hey, I used to, you know, not charge much for what it is that I do. Now I charge a little bit more. And I talk about some of the things that I had to go through and some of my experiences, some of my, um, you know, my mishaps per se. That is what individuals who desire to do business with me, those are some of the things that they are connecting with. So the same thing is true from a marketing standpoint, <laughs> right? And if you talk about those individual experiences, if you talk about um, some of those things that they could be going through, I think it allows you the ability to be able to connect with, um, you know, with your prospective clients. So the thing that I'm going to um, reinforce, you know, per se, is I'm going to reinforce that you just talk about the circumstances that they could potentially be going through. Sometimes those circumstances are not necessarily fun. You may have gone through those circumstances yourself and in going through those circumstances yourself gives them the ability to say, you know what, I am going to have a little bit more confidence in this person because this person has gone through this exact same experience and or this exact same circumstance. So then the circumstance and the experience is the thing that ties the person to you and thereby from a um, from a marketing standpoint can go ahead and move that person just that much more closer to you so think about you know your experience and think about their individualized circumstances all right evolve thanks for tuning in i think i might do this challenge really cool great job on staying consistent thank you very much evolve benton so that's the thing that i wanted to go ahead and, and talk to you about as it relates to promoting and or marketing your coaching business so that's it that's all i have for you if you happen to be catching this live do me a favor hit pound live let me know where you are tuning in from and if you happen to be catching me via the replay do me a favor and hit pound replay and if you have any suggestions for topics that i should cover on future lives let me know type it in the comment section and i will be sure to cover those in future episodes all right guys that's all i have for you today i'll talk to you soon All right, so the last time I was on here live, I had the same issue with uh, turning this thing off and hitting the finish button. So I don't know, I think it's trying to tell me something. And I wanna say I was almost in this exact same spot as well. <laughs> it doesn't wanna hit finish.